Mm, hello, good evening. Hey, Julio, it's just, it's just you. Salud, usted. Ah, qué raro. Ya, yeah, man, por lo general ya está medio mundo acá. Mm -hmm. Es que estaba dando un problema a la hora de entrar a la reunión en Zoom. Ah, a lo mejor. Uh -huh. Ahí me, no me dejó entrar, entré al correo y del correo entré. No directamente al enlace. Ah, vamos a ver acá porque Manuel está teniendo un problema. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, hello. I'm just yeah. helping this. Yeah, I mean, I'm just helping this person because he had problems. Let me see. That's weird. It's not even using register. Good evening. Good evening, Juan. You were the one with problems, Juan? Is there the less difficult task or no? Manuel. Okay, good. I could um, yes. Ah, but okay, so the problem was solved. Okay, that's cool. Give me one second I minute. Mean, I'm loading the attendance list. This thing is like okay. Yeah, I'm getting kind of weird. This is just ah it's like kind of a slow, but anyways. Let's start. So, good evening, everybody. Buenas noches a todos. We're going to start with uh, the video call number 15. Okay. So, basically, we are finishing week three with this, right? Basicamente, estamos finalizando la semana tres, uh, you know, like with this, with this class, right? So, we are missing one more week. And we finish the module, right? And we finish the module, and then probably we're going to be. Luego creo que nos vamos a ir a un receso de unos que unas dos semanas probably probably because after we finish here it comes Holy Week. Viene Semana Santa, and on Holy Week I think everybody's you know like going going out from vacation. And yeah, probably we're gonna be restoring classes in two weeks ahead of that time. So that's what we're gonna be like, you know, doing. All right. Uh, just to start with the general feedback that we're gonna have today, I'm just going to start with, the, let me see. I am going to start with the attendance list. Okay, so let's start. Uh, Carlos Mauricio. You see Mauricio here? Nah. All right, Cindy Melanie. Cindy, okay, no, here. Elvi Quintanilla. Hi, teacher. Nah, okay, cool, you're there. Stephanie Michel, Anna Michel is still working. Gustavo Adolfo, no, it's not, not definitely here. Uh, Ivania Jamilet. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Now, okay. Nice. Let's move. Jose Antonio. Present. Ah, okay. Very good. Jose Edgar. I thought it was here. Okay, anyways. Juan Emanuel. Juan, are you there? Mm, okay. Well, he's not there. Juan Gilberto. 
Juan Gilberto, I mean, he's not connected yet. Okay. Julio Alberto. Okay. <laughs> Neither Julio. I am in Julio said that today was a conf was in a conference. Julio Cesar. Present. Okay. Karen Beatriz. Karen, Karen, all right, Karen is not here. Uh, Luis Gerardo. Present. Okay, Veronica Arely. All right, Veronica. Present. Oh, right. Cool, Veronica. Wendy Jamilet. Present. Now, okay. And then we have William Ernesto. I think he's, he's on his job. Xiomara uh, Elizabeth. Present. Ah, okay, good. Luis Jonathan. Okay, apparently he's with problems. Carlos Jose. All right, he's not there yet. And the last one. Soy la Guadalupe. Present. Okay, very good. So we're going to start with the things as I told you that we're going to have for tonight. Mm, tonight, we are going to have a general feedback from the main topics that we were discussing, okay, during the week. That's what we are going to be doing, right? Basically, a review from the main topics that we were discussing, you know, all this time. So that's what we are going to be doing, right? Talking about the main structures that we were discussing. Okay, but just to start with those topics, do you remember what were the main topics that we were discussing during this week? Can somebody remember what were those topics that we were discussing during this week? Let's see if you remember. Can somebody tell me? Por ir a donde decirme cuáles eran los temas centrales. Present continuous versus present versus simple present. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. So basically those were like the most, the, 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 the first ones, right? The first one was like present continuous to express future. If you remember for future actions, right? Then we were discussing present continuous versus simple present. Okay, right after that, what was the other one? You remember it was present continuous with WH questions, all right? And then it was, Simple present for, if you remember, temporary situations. That basically, that one was being done yesterday, right? That was the one that we were practicing yesterday, okay? So, in that case, you know, like, those are the things that we are going to be discussing. Just by today, we're going to be working in the manual. Uh, we have some pending conversations also in the manual and... We're going to be like, you know, doing those, those, those things. Okay, cool. But let's start with the main topic that we are going to be practicing tonight. All right. There you go. Uh, pero, ¿Se le resolvió ya el problema, Juan? Juan, are you there? I don't know why, I mean, you're having that problem. Juan, si me escucha, puede actualizar el, eh, revise si no tiene actualizaciones pendientes de Zoom. A veces eh, genera inconvenientes el hecho de no tener Zoom actualizado, right? Eh, eso me pasaba a inicios de semana cuando tenía serios problemas de, entre comillas, internet. En realidad el internet me estaba funcionando bastante bien, pero lo que tenía era problemas de porque eh, no tenía actualizado Zoom. So probably that might be happening to you. A lo mejor y eso puede ser lo que esté sucediendo en su caso. Right? 
So just check that part. Okay. There you go. Let's continue. Let me see. We're going to make a short review from this. Okay, so this is the video conference number 15, as I said, and tonight's topic is going to be unit three review and practice, right? So we're going to make a general review from the whole things that we were discussing during the week, and then we are going to put this into practice, okay? That's the main thing that we are going to be doing or discussing. Okay, let's continue. The class agenda, the things that the most relevant things that we're gonna be like, you know, working on today. We're gonna make a review from the previous topic, all right? The one that we were practicing yesterday, right? And we're going to review the main topics from the week, right? The four topics that we were discussing. Then we're gonna go to the manual and read and practice a conversation. Then we're going to have time to do some exercises in the manual. So we're going to complete them. Okay. And this is pretty much what we have. Okay. Now let's go to Buenas the noche, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Ahorita voy manejando ya, pero ya, ya, me, ya me conecté. Lo voy escuchando. Now, okay. Perfect. Perfect. That's, that's okay. good to hear. Right. Really good to hear that. Okay. Let's continue. Vamos a revisar entonces un poco o dar un feedback de los primeros temas que estuvimos hablando, right? Aquí no lo vamos a llevar en orden, pero sí, like, you know, like we're going to talk about all of them. It says, this one is to talk about arrangement, okay? It says, we use present continuous to talk about arrangements for events at a time later than now, okay? So in this case, this one is present continues to talk about future events okay i don't know if you remember this one but basically is when we add a time expression that indicates that indicates what that indicates future right y cuáles son esas time expressions que por lo general solemos usar con esta estructura para expresar algo a futuro y recuerdan son time expressions como tomorrow, tonight, next week, next weekend, right? So those expressions indicate a future action, right? Entonces acá tenemos parte de lo que ustedes tienen en el manual. We got the structure over there. Tenemos la estructura. Creo que esta estructura ya estamos bastante familiarizados con ella, right? So it's not difficult to understand. So let's remember that in the structure you got the subject, right? Let's remember the subject can be anything. Okay, I mean, any pronoun in that case, any subject pronoun. And then we got the form of the verb be. Let's remember that when the verb be, we got three forms in simple present. Am, is, and are, right? Depending on the subject, that's the form of the verb be that you uh, use. Then we have the main verb, verbo principal, right? Como va a ir ese verbo? Ah, okay, it's going to go with ing right ing form and then we have a complement right so basically this is the structure that we use okay to start talking about actions that no are not happening in the moment but in the future okay in the future so let's read the examples that we that we uh, are you know like watching on the screen and uh, Soila, help me out reading the first one, please. Okay. I am meeting the inter tomorrow. This action will take place in the future. Okay, thank you, Soila. It says, I am meeting the interns tomorrow, right? Ah, it says, this action will take place in the future. When? Uh, specifically, tomorrow so you see the action even though we are we are you know like working in 
present continuous, this one is indicating a future action, ¿ok? A future action. Recordemos que a pesar de que esté hablando sobre, o estemos usando básicamente un presente continuo, estamos hablando sobre una acción a futuro, ¿ok? ¿Y cómo podemos formar oraciones para hablar de futuro? Recordemos que básicamente lo que hace el futuro en una oración es la time expression, la expresión de tiempo. Right? That's the one that helps us create this type of example. Cool. Let's read number uh, two. Example number two, Gerardo. What time is Maria intervening the people? Ah, okay. She's is the, she's is intervening. Interviewing. At, interviewing then at 5 p.m. Yeah, okay. She's interviewing them at 5 p.m. Because the question is. What time is Maria interviewing the people, right? ¿A qué horas estará Maria entrevistando las personas? Ah, she's interviewing them. Ah, ella les estará entrevistando o les está entrevistando at a las 5 p.m., right? That's what it says. So in this case, we can ask with what time, all right? This type of structures and there's no problem, right? It's something super super easy for you then we have the last example Xiomara tell me in the last example please trying to report next week okay very good I am writing the report next week ah estaré finalizando el reporte la próxima semana right that's what it says and it says it says the other one in there. Uh, read part B, Julio Cesar. Nice. And I am sending it as soon as you finish. Okay, very good. Nice, it says, and I am sending it as soon as you finish. So you see, that is a future action, right? Esa es una acción a futuro. ¿Y por qué es una acción a futuro? Porque para comenzar, el primero no ha terminado el reporte. Right? So it says that he's going to finish next week. Terminada la próxima semana. Entonces, por eso igual en la parte de estamos hablando de una acción a futuro. Okay? Here you go. Now, what are your plans for tomorrow, people? Ahora bien, les pregunto, ¿cuáles son sus planes para mañana? In my case, in my case, I am teaching English the whole day. Mañana estaré enseñando inglés todo el día. All right? So I can say, I, uh, so sad. But anyways, you know, we want money. Yo puedo decir, look, 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 in this one. Can I make it here? I am teaching, good evening. I am teaching English the whole day tomorrow check that out i am teaching english the whole day tomorrow okay estaré okay enseñando inglés todo el día mañana all right so esta acción no es que ya la esté haciendo okay la estaré haciendo mañana so in that case that's one of my things for tomorrow ahora bien cuáles son sus planes para mañana cool why? Porque quiero que me hagan una oración como esta. All right? Pero hablando sobre lo que ustedes van a hacer mañana. Can you mention one relevant activity that you have to do tomorrow? So you can write it down in present continuous. Let's remember, present continuous. Okay? Let's do it. Vamos a hacer una oración entonces, usando presente continuo, expresando futuro. Específicamente mañana. Okay, go on. Me. Yeah, me go. I am. I am visiting visiting, and to chalate 
to my mother tomorrow. I am visiting. I am visiting to Chilate. No, mm. I am visiting. I am visiting Chilate. Uh, to my mother. No, no, no. It's okay. I am visiting uh, Chilate. I am visiting Chilate. Uh -huh. uh, Aha. Tomorrow. With? With my mother. With my mother? Tomorrow. Exactly. Right? Así tendría que ser. Solo había una sure. palabrita que estaba ahí. Que no, no iba. Right? But that's okay. Thank you, Soyla. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I am eating pizza late at the night. Late at the night. Okay, you right. This is, this is still acceptable because you're talking about future. Very good, Carlos. Okay, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Nobody else. Okay. Uh, I am going to go to work at five o'clock in the morning. I am going to go to work at five o'clock in the morning. Vaya, mire. El I am going está perfecto. Solo elimínele el go después del going to. Porque si lo deja así, significa que tenemos un verbo adicional y ahí la oración está en futuro, no presente continuo. Okay. I am going to work. Okay. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Ivania. Somebody else? Alguien más? Yo digo, um, I am driving my work tomorrow. I am driving to my work tomorrow. Uh, okay. To my good? work. Yes. Tomorrow. Gracias. Okay, perfect. Somebody else? I am going to work in the morning. I am going and, to work in the morning. Sí. En mm. afternoon. Está mala. Ah, es que si dice I am going to work, ese work hace el quiebre. Y ya la oración ya no es presente continuo, es futuro. Ah, ok. Vale. Yes. Voy a corregir. Ah, usted puede poner I am working. Elimine el going to. Hey, ahí le De una ahí. vez. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Porque ahí no pueden ir dos verbos juntos. Porque si no, ya la estructura no es, you know, like, like present continuous, sino más bien eh, ya sería otra estructura. Ya estaríamos hablando de futuro, ¿ok? Nice. Somebody else? Okay. Somara? I am buying at the supermarket tomorrow. Ah, okay. Very good. I am buying at the supermarket tomorrow. Very good. All right, Juan. Um, I'm working on weekend. I am working on weekend. Okay. I'm right. working on weekend. Also... I'm playing soccer at night. Ah, okay. It's good? I am playing soccer at night. Yes. I mean, it's good. It's good. Thank you, Carlos. I mean, Juan. It's okay. Uh, okay, Gilberto. Hey. I am eating pizza tomorrow. Okay, very good. I am eating pizza tomorrow. I have a Hello. Uh -huh. Somebody else? Thank you, Gilberto. Yeah, I mean, your, your example was good, man. Your example was good. Thank you, teacher. Okay, cool. Somebody else? I have another teacher. Okay. Mention it. I am eating my cell phone tomorrow. I am? I am cleaning my cell phone tomorrow. Ah, cleaning. Okay, very good. Yeah, okay. just the last because the action is in the future. There you go. Somebody else? Yo tengo una teacher, pero no está bien. Okay, read it. I, I, I am resting all day tomorrow. Okay, cool. I am resting the whole day tomorrow. That's great. That's okay. still acceptable because you're talking about future. Very good, Jose. Do you have one? 
Hola. All right, do you have one? I be doing my laundry tomorrow or Sunday. Okay, all right. There you go. Man, you have a lot of clothes. Tiene mucha ropa. Puedes dar desde mañana. Sí. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, man. Nice. All right, somebody else? Alguien más? I am cleaning my car in, in the tomorrow. Eliminemos in. I clean my car. Oh, okay. Yes, I am cleaning my car tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. So that would be perfect. Exactly. So in that case, so that's expressions. Remember, those expressions are used to talk about, you know, like future actions, right? Acciones okay. a futuro. Thank you, Julio. Now, if somebody else is missing? No, right? Your teacher. Ah, okay, hold on. Uh, I'm going to take in driving lessons tomorrow. Mm. I am going checking. Taking. Taking. I am going taking. Mire, elimen, eliminemos el going to y dejemos el taking nada más. Oh, okay. Ajá. I... Uh -huh. Yeah, that would be better. Okay. I okay. am taking, okay? Thank you. Yes. Como le repito, es porque no podemos poner dos verbos juntos. No podemos poner el going, right? Or go, or whatever you're going to make there, right? And an extra verb, un verbo extra. Now, oh, okay. tiene que hacer la forma del verbo to be y el verbo en ing, okay? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. Somebody else? No, no, okay. I am visiting yo. Ah, okay, good. I am visiting Suchitoto tomorrow. Ah, okay, good. I am visiting Suchitoto tomorrow. Dicen que bonito Suchitoto. Ah, never again. Interesante. Okay, let me see. <laughs> I am sleeping the whole day tomorrow. It will be Michel. I am okay. I am sleeping the whole day tomorrow. Esa sería la correcta. I am playing video game after the class. Give me one second. Give me one second. Okay. Okay. Can you repeat it again, please? I, I, am, play I am playing uh -huh. video game after the class. Okay, very good. Yes. Y ahí estamos hablando de una acción a futuro, right? Porque lo va a hacer después de clase. Okay. Excellent. That's the one. Hmm. Nice. Now, let me see. I am Gerardo. playing soccer tomorrow. Okay, Gerardo, thank you. Thank you. Somebody else? All right. Yeah, I mean, I think nobody has missing. Okay, so let's understand that part, okay? Bien, ya que hemos entendido entonces el presente continuo para expresar futuro es básicamente cuando let me, let me see. Usamos las time expressions, you know, like the main time expressions to indicate that an action, you know, like is being done in future, okay? In future. So, and you know now how to create those type of, you know, examples, right? Those type of examples. Very good. Now, let's continue. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the simple present. It says, we use simple present for general information, routines, and activities, right? 
So, básicamente, recordemos que el presente simple se utiliza para hablar de información general y actividades rutinarias. Right? Those are the main functions of simple present. Now, let's continue. Okay, with uh, number one, I need help. Gerardo, with number one. I check, I check my email every morning. Ok, I check my email every morning. Recordemos, acá básicamente ya se convierte en una actividad rutinaria. ¿Por qué? Porque esta acción se desarrolla right, en un tiempo determinado. Y ahí dice básicamente que es every morning. All right, so in that case, todos los días, right? Very good. Now, next, uh, let's see, Jorge, let's read. Okay, he writes reports about meeting. Okay, he writes reports about meeting. So in that case, if you're saying that one, well, that's for general information, right? That's used to fill out general information. Cool. Let's continue. Number okay. three. Mm -hmm. Soil. Hi. Let's read. She audits inventories. Ah, okay. Very good. She audits inventories, right? Ah, I audit inventories, right? That's so simple and is being done probably every week, every day, or every month. Good. Next example. Number four. Julio. They arrange meetings. Ah, okay. Very good. They arrange meetings, right? Or oh, ellos preparan reuniones. So that's an action that in a somehow is being done, not specifically in the moment of speaking, but, but, you know, it serves like to the same to the same uh, aspect, right? Actions that happen generally every single day, right? Cool. And let's remember, we were providing examples when we were discussing this, we were providing examples about things or activities that you people, that you do every single day, okay? For example, in my case, what do I do at six? In the morning, 6 a.m. Ah, at 6 a.m., I go to work, right? That's one action that I do at 6 a.m. What do you guys do at 6 a.m.? ¿Qué es lo que generalmente ustedes hacen? A las I 6 de up. la mañana. 6 a.m. Ah, okay, cool. You wake up. Nice. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más que hacen específicamente a las 6 de la mañana? I'm um, driving. Yeah. You so drive? Estoy, estoy en el yes. Tiempo. Ah, ok, cool. Soyla, what do you say? Eh, ya estoy en el proceso. You are in the, in the, in the job already? Yes. Ah, you saw early. I, 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 super, own, super I, I own my computer. You are in your computer? Okay. <laughs> but not sleeping. No. <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> ah, <laughs> with energy. <laughs> Solo acá es que mire, ahora ya no activó la cámara para no okay. verla que está así. No, ah. pues eh, no hay. Es que mucho me molesta, así que la llamo. Ves, <laughs> la ves. No, va a llegar un momento en el que ya va a estar Soyla. Are you there? Soyla, hello. No, y Soyla roncando. No. <laughs> ah, pues, ¿sabe que no? ¿Sabe que no? No, you know what? Ah. Mentiras. Mira. <laughs> ya partó el plato. <laughs> no, actually. No, en serio. Eh, a, 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 en el último módulo que tuve el, el año pasado, era módulo 4, creo, si no me equivoco. Mm, ya, yeah, módulo 4. Había un estudiante, there was one student, que por lo general, eh, Tenía la cámara encendida, right? Eran casos así como que muy, muy, muy lejanos. 
en los que tenía la cámara apagada. Pero una vez en una clase, I remember, desde como a las nueve, apagó la cámara. En everything was cool. Cuando yo le preguntaba algo, like, he, he was participating in everything. Pero hubo un momento en el que todos se quedaron así como que, ¿qué es eso? What is that? Se los escuchaba. And I was saying, everybody was asking, hey, y decían el nombre, right? Y esa persona estaba profundamente dormida, like, 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 you know, in front of the computer. Bueno, pues para decirle, terminamos la clase y todavía quedó ahí. No. <ríe> Al día siguiente estaba comentando que se había, se había despertado tipo doce y media de la noche y, y, está, y había amanecido todo adolorido porque se había quedado todo doblado. Ay. Yeah, I mean, that person was sleeping. That was funny. No, no that pasará was... como yo. That was funny. So probably that's gonna happen to you, Soila. Eh, cansancio, teacher. A cualquiera le puede pasar. Yeah, I mean, tiredness. Ah, no, man, even me. A veces estamos a puro café, man. Like, coffee, sí, coffee, coffee, coffee. Y a veces ni el coffee funciona. Yes. No, man, that, that happens, that happens, right? <laughs> Okay, let's continue. It says, present continuous for ongoing actions at the time of speaking. Ah, aquí ya estamos hablando sobre acciones que están sucediendo al momento de hablar, right? At the moment of speaking. That's what it says in there. Okay, and let's start with the series of, you know, examples that we have over here. Gilberto, help me out reading number one. I am planning a video conference. Uh -huh. Very good. I am planning a video conference. That's an app. In that case, in that case, that action is being done at the moment of speaking. In este caso, ya yeah, la acción, estamos hablando de una acción que está sucediendo al momento de hablar, right? For example, I am teaching English to all of you. Ah, les estoy enseñando inglés a todos. So you see, in that case, there's an action that is happening at the time of speaking. Okay, good. Let's move. Let me see who can hear. All right. Jose, read the next one, please. Jose, are you there? Jose? No, my Jose, Jose, no, anyway. Julio, help me out. Yeah, probably he's doing all things. <laughs> they, are, they are getting the document ready. Okay, thank you. They are getting the documents ready. Okay, cool. Right. Ah, están preparando los documentos, right? O están alistando los documentos. That's, that's an action that is happening at the moment of speaking, right? Cool. Let's continue. Carlos, help me out with the next one, please. Carlos Chávez. Yes, yes. Porque el otro Carlos, el otro Carlos no está. Ah, okay. She is editing the information. Okay, very good. She's editing the information. That's an action that is happening. The right. information. Yes, man. That is an action that is happening at the moment of speaking, right? Okay, perfect. And let's read the last one. Vamos a leer la última. And the last one, I want... Wendy, to help me out. The secretary is making a phone call. Okay, very good. The secretary is making a phone call. La secretaria está haciendo una llamada. Right? That's what it says. So all of these actions are being done at the moment of speaking, right? Okay, let's remember. Entonces, todas estas acciones, básicamente, están desarrollándose al momento de... Hablar, right? At the moment of speaking. There you go. Okay. 
Cool. What's one, what is one action that you're doing like right now? ¿Cuál es una acción de las que ustedes, que ustedes por lo general están, están haciendo en este instante? Can you mention one? ¿Podríamos mencionar am, una actividad? I am studying English. Very good. I am studying English. Something else? I am writing the class English. <laughs> The English class. The English mm -hmm. class. Very good. The English class. Uh -huh. There you go. Somebody else? I am listening to the class. Ah, oh, okay. Very good. Thank you. Somebody else? I, I am driving. Teacher. Very good, William. I am driving. Uh, somebody else? I am drinking coffee. Oh, okay. Very good. I am drinking coffee. I mean, I'm missing coffee. I'm going to make one. Somebody else? Alguien más? I am Drinking. eating. <laughs> okay, good. Wendy and then Jose. I am eating. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> no me dejan. <laughs> no Proceda. Me okay, cool, cool. I am eating. There you go. Thank you, Wendy. Jose, what is your answer? I mean, your sentence. Uh, drinking tea for a sleep. <laughs> what? I am drinking. <laughs> you're, you're drinking tea for not sleeping or, or to sleep? Uh, tea for a sleep. Para dormir. Uh, no, 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 no. Para calmar el sueño. <laughs> ah, entonces mire, vamos a colocarlo así. Vamos a poner ahí medio sofisticado. Vamos a decir, I am drinking tea right, to avoid sleeping. I am drinking tea to avoid sleeping. I am drinking tea to avoid sleeping. Exactly, right? So this is the way how, how you can uh, complement that example that you have, right? Okay. What it says, I am drinking tea. Ah, estoy tomando té para evitar dormirme. That's what it says. Thank okay. you, Jose. Somebody okay. else? Yes. I'm listening to Mm, what do you say, Veronica? I am listening to my teacher. Ah, okay, very good. I am listening to my teacher. Thank you, Veronica. Somebody else? No, 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 no. I am drinking coffee. Okay, very good. I am drinking coffee. Excellent, Cindy. Somebody else? I am listening to music. Okay, that's another one. You're listening to music. Excellent. Somebody else? Alguien más? I am seeing the platform. Mm, okay. All right. That's acceptable. There you go. Somebody else? Teacher, I am coming house. Llegando a casa. No sé. I am getting to the house. I am, I am como? Getting, 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 or getting, arriving. Getting to the house. Very good. Are ah, you getting home? Yo llegando. That is weird, that, that, that's, that's cool man, that's cool. Let's continue, okay? Let's continue with these things. Give me one second. Uh, is, ah, okay. okay, so these ones, remember, those are actions at the moment of speaking, right? Now, let's move. Let's remember, this is just, 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 just a general feedback, okay? And it says now, 
complete the sentences in present continuous. Vamos a hacer esta pequeña actividad. Y esta sí la vamos a hacer individual. Dice completar la forma del presente continuo de las siguientes oraciones. ¿vale? There you go. Ok, what are we going to do with these examples? Listen up. Quiero que con esos verbos que están en paréntesis, además de escribir la forma correcta del verbo to be, quiero que me transformen esos ejemplos en presente continuo. Ok, ustedes ya saben cómo hacerlo. Ya saben la modificación que tienen que sufrir. All right. Now, let's practice. Let's practice. Ok, cool. How, how are we going to do this? ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Listen up. You can copy them, right? Or you can copy just, just the part that is missing. And then we're going to check them, ok? Luego las vamos a revisar. But this one has to go individually. Pero esta sí lo vamos a hacer de manera individual. Let me see. Yeah, there are just six. Eight questions. Someone was speaking. Soyla, were you speaking? ¿Dice algo? No, que sí. ¿En qué página del libro está? No. Ah, let me see, let me see, let me see. This one I think it doesn't have, right? Yeah, oh. but I think it's a page 32 also. Okay. Where you are. Teacher. Yes. La primera es el ejemplo. El ejemplo. <laughs> All right, there you go. Aha, uh -huh, that's one, yeah. Now, but this one, let's do it like that, people, right? In the notebook, especially in the notebook. Okay. Yes, because I want to bring up what we were doing in the manual, okay? Okay, let's complete them. Let me know when you finish, okay? All right, just let me know if you have any questions. Just remember. Almost done, teacher. Solo no. que en la, en la, en la cuatro que dice, I pay. Ahí, ahí dice que pone atención, ¿verdad? I pay attention. Exactly. Pero exactly. si es sería, I pay in attention. Podría ser, podría ser. Just be sure and remember that you have to pay, I mean, that you have to put the per B, okay? I am paying attention. Now, okay, ahí vamos mejor. Por ejemplo, el de Cheryl Gray, sería Cheryl is grading 
The boss right now. Right now, huh? <laughs> okay, it might be possible. Ya la vamos a revisar, right? Like when everybody's there. So let me know when you finish, okay? Just let me know when you have everything done. So that way we can continue. Finish, teacher. Nice, Carlos. Thank you. Finish. Okay, perfect, Elvi. Finish, teacher. All right, cool, my love. Este, yo tengo una duda, no sé si se me lo puede despejar. Ajá, dame. Yo sé que es con respecto a mi estatus, estoy como un oyente, ¿verdad? Pero ahí me dijeron de que esto me va a contar como para pasar al nivel 3, porque lo que pasa es de que yo estoy como oyente porque, entre comillas, no llega tiempo a dar los, los documentos. Uh -huh. Entonces, me dije que, o sea, no quería perder el hilo, pues. Entonces me dijeron que posiblemente en el transcurso del módulo me iban a poner ya en la lista para que ya no fuera un oyente. No sé si usted sabía algo al respecto. Pues yo sé que hasta el momento no, pero si ellos le han dicho sí, probablemente pueda suceder, ya sea eh, eh, con respecto a esta semana o la próxima semana, right? O Ajá. se les va a notificar ya cuando este... Y you know, like, cuando, cuando ya estén aceptando eh, el, la, la papelería, que por cierto, yo creo que ya están aceptando la papelería para el módulo número 3, right? No sé si ya les hicieron saber y todo eso, ¿cierto? Sí. Ya me enviaron, pero sí, mi duda ya. es, como soy oyente, no, no sé si me va a contar esto para pasar al 3. A ver, si ellos le dijeron que sí, pues entonces así será. Oh. Yes. Entonces sí. entonces sí, básicamente a... Uh, ya estarían, ya, no, ya, ya, ya estarían este, recibiendo papelería, ok, esto con el fin, listen, esto con el fin es que entre más rápido ustedes entreguen los papeles que les solicitan, más rápido se va a aperturar de nuevo el módulo número 3, entonces, ¿qué significa? que si ustedes eh, digamos, el proceso lo llevan lento si de recursos humanos no, llegue, no, no mandan eh, la información requerida a tiempo cabe la posibilidad de que usted no pueda continuar en el módulo, ¿ok? O que ya manden la papelería muy a tiempo, muy, 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 en like, con el tiempo pasado, y pues ya no esté en el listado principal, sino que ya probablemente pueda estar hasta de oyente. Right? En Gracias. Este caso, ok, cool. Ajá, so in that case, it's really important. Ah, por cierto, listen. Por cierto, uh, a partir de lunes, creo, o martes, ustedes van a recibir eh, la encuesta de satisfacción. Siempre eh, de recargar, recalcarles, no la vayan a hacer cuando reciban el correo, ¿ok? Porque esa encuesta de satisfacción, tal y como lo hicimos en el módulo pasado con los que, lo, bueno, los que estuvieron conmigo, lo vamos a hacer lo mismo, ¿ok? Eh, en este módulo. ¿A qué me refiero con eso? Lo vamos a hacer el viernes en la clase, right? Es encuesta. Así, por si surge alguna duda, you know, like, uh, vamos a estar aclarando cualquier, cualquier duda que pueda, que pueda surgir, ¿ok? Entonces, Teacher, ajá. disculpe, otra duda también, este, no sé, yo también tenía entendido que cada vez que te venaba un módulo, daban ustedes un certificado, o, o yo estoy mal ahí. Hasta donde sé, sí. Ya han certificado. Uh -huh. right. Sí. Y yeah. el módulo 1 que pasamos no, no hemos recibido nada. Ya, no venga. ¿De veras? Cuando se sí. pongan en contacto con usted, pregunten. Ahí sí, okay. ya no está en mi jurisdicción en ese aspecto, right Porque ahí sí. Uh -huh. Como yo acá en San Miguel y ellos allá en San Salvador, you know, like, vieron que era la verdad, dos things. Ahí solo me dicen, ah, look, hey, 
este es el módulo que usted va a enseñar, bla, 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 aquí está la información, aquí están los estudiantes, do it. Y después, like, you know, like, I do it that way, right? Pero sí, pregunte, pregunte cuando, cuando, cuando le, 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 le mencionen eso. Because you're going to receive a diploma. No consulta, teacher. Uh -huh. Dice que yo ahí en la... Eh, me pareció que me decía que no tenía derecho a un certificado en la... Donde estaba escrito. No sé. ¿A dónde le pareció eso? En, en... ¿Plataforma? Sí. Se aparece, se aparece ah, no, es que sí, en la plataforma sí aparece, right En la plataforma aparece como participante, como estudiante, sin el derecho a certificado, dice. Pero recuerde que la plataforma nada más es una unidad de práctica para usted, donde usted hace las tareas solicitadas y todo lo demás, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Gracias, uh -huh. Ticha. That's been. Ah, sí, por cierto, por cierto, recordemos, hoy tenemos hasta la tarea 10, ok, hasta el día, tarea 15, es cierto, tarea 10, ya estoy como todavía en la semana pasada, right? Hasta la, hasta hasta la tarea, tarea 15, hasta tarea 15, tarea para 15. esta noche, yes, okay. I'm gonna be waiting for you, ok, estaré esperando ahí, si no, después de clase me van a tener, soy la, no se duerma, hágame la tarea, le <risa> Ah, la, ya la hizo, ya la hice. Yes, it's true. That's true. Sí, chile, una pregunta. Ajá. Y para el siguiente módulo siempre iba a ser en este horario. No hay otro. Usted que ponga otro horario. O sea, fin de semana. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Los fines de semana son mucho más pesados porque los sábados son de 7 a, como de 7 a 5 o 6 de la tarde. De 7 de la mañana. 7 a 5. Las 10 horas. <ríe> que usted ve dos horas de la semana, las ve un sábado completo. Así que no creo que quiera estar así. <ríe> no, o, o, o los, 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 los horarios que hay, por lo general, los que, los que presentan son de 8 a 10 de la noche, right? O de 6 de la mañana a 8 de la mañana, pero creo que tampoco le sería factible a usted. Yeah, I mean, this is like, like, no, right? Yes. So that might be difficult. That would be like this, this hours, right? Okay, cool. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what you got. Right. Uh, let's practice uh, the, the, let me see, the examples that you did already, right? With this activity. Gilberto, what did you have? Sí. In number two. Tengo una pregunta, teacher. Uh, tell me, dígame. En lo de ahorita, lo que está en paréntesis, solo le vamos a agregar. Solo le vamos a agregar ING. Sí. Y la forma correcta del verbo to be. Ya sea am, is, o are, dependiendo del sujeto. Digamos, I am, you are, she is, he is. Nah, Para correct. forma de oración. Correcto, correcto. Así. Correcto, sí. ¿Ya las terminó? Pues no tenías la duda ahorita. Voy a... <ríe> ok, ok. All right. Julio César, help me a reading number two, please. Uh, Cheryl is grading the bus right now. Okay, Cheryl is greeting the bus right now, right? Is greeting the bus right now. Okay, is greeting. Remember, is greeting. Está saludando. Very good. Gerardo, let's read number three. <clears throat> he is printing the papers papers okay good <laughs> he is printing the papers there you go thank you Harold. cindy number four i am paying attention to english class ah, okay very good i am paying attention to the english class right there you go uh let's continue let me see who can help me up 
Wendy, read the next one. Wendy? Número... Ah, cinco. Yes, number five. She is doing the dishes. She is doing the dishes. Okay, very good. And what is doing the dishes, Wendy? ¿Qué significa eso? She's doing the dishes. What does it, it says in that, in that example? ¿Qué quiere decir ese ejemplo? Vamos a ver. She is doing the dishes. No sé, teacher. Ahí sí me bloqueó ahora. <risa> no, listen, listen. En ese caso es, 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 es sencillo. Yes. She's doing the dishes es una forma uh, uh, más común, por así decirlo, en the U.S. de decir ella está lavando los platos. She's doing the dishes. Right? Ah, es otra sí, forma claro. de decir wash the sí. dishes. Very good. Number six. Uh, Ivania. Ivania. La cinco, ¿verdad? Number six. Uh -huh. No, six. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. They are taking the club to the warehouse. Ah, okay. Very good. They are taking the work, I mean, the product to the warehouse, right? Ah, ellos están, you know, like, Ah, llevando los productos, right? O el producto a el almacén, right? Warehouse, remember, means almacén o bodega, right? Cool. So that was pretty much what we got in those, in those Teacher, words, right? Yes. Eh, estas oraciones se parecen de la página 32, ¿verdad? Likely similar, sí, son Ajá. un tanto similares, right? Y ¿Cuántas, ¿cuántas, pal ¿cuántas, ¿Cuántas palabras? Ajá, eh, exactly. sí, algunos verbos, casi algunos verbos exactly. la mayoría. Son. Exactly. Okay. There you go. Let's continue. Ajá. Uh -huh. Solo en la dos tengo una duda. ¿Cómo se haría? En la dos. Cheryl es básicamente una persona. Ahí estamos hablando de uno. Dice Cheryl. Entonces ahí que va a usar. Si es singular, ¿qué va a usar? Am, is, o are. Está hablando de... Sherry. Ajá. Sí. No, ahí ya pronombre no va a ir. Solo va a ir la forma del verbo to be. ¿Cuál sería? Sí, Ok, all right, all right. En ese caso tenemos tres formas del verbo to be, recuerde. Am, is, and are, ok. Ahora bien, ¿cuál de esas tres usted colocaría ahí? Antes de decir is. greeting. Is. ¿Quién se colocará? Ah, ok, cool. Ahí está, entonces diría... Cheryl is greeting the boss right now. Okay. So, entonces, ahí la forma del verbo to be sería is. Y luego el verbo, que en este caso es greet, se, se le colocaría ing. Okay. Okay. Cool. There you go. Thank you, Gilberto. Thank you, teacher. Okay, nice. Let's move. All right, it says, present continuous for temporary situations. Esto es lo que estuvimos viendo ayer, right? Okay, can somebody tell me what is a temporary situation? ¿Cómo comprendimos esto? Esto es de la clase pasada, así que lo vamos a hacer de esta manera. Es algo temporal. Ah, okay, like, like the word it says, right? For a temporary situation, para una situación temporal. Okay, y podrían darme un ejemplo de una situación temporal usando el presente continuo? I having... Headache right now. 
No, qué okay, cool, I am having a headache. Significa que ese dolor de cabeza va a terminar, ya sea en una hora, en un día, en una semana, right? Etc. Pero de que termina, termina. So that's a temporary situation, right? Very good. Somebody else? ¿Alguien más? I reading the new book. I am reading. I am reading the new book. Ah, okay, very good. There you go. So you will finish reading the book, right? Usted va a terminar de leer el libro. Right? Entonces, yeah. y ahí hasta ahí va a llegar la, la esa actividad. So that is a temporary situation. Very good, Jorge. Okay. Somebody else? Alguien más? Ajá. Uh, I am preparing the report this is week. No, okay, very good. I am preparing the report this week. Thank you, Julio. Somebody else. Ajá, uh -huh. somebody else? Let me see. I am sending emails every day. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ivania. Xiomara, do you have any, any, any example? Mm, Michelle? Well, I am... Um... Ah, okay, okay, okay. Michelle, do you have any, any examples done? Estoy pensando. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. um, Corríjame si está mal. I am sending invoice to clients. Very good, LB. Yes, yeah, so you're, you're okay, right? With that. Thank you. Michelle. Carlos, uh, give me one second. Carlos, ya no te quiere participar. <laughs> Ajá, Carlos. Uh, I am watching Amazon Prime this month. Okay. The free trial. <laughs> All right, that's cool, brother. That's cool. That's cool. Amazon Prime. Uh -huh. I am receiving the emails. I am receiving the emails. Now, okay, cool. That's acceptable. Porque no todo el tiempo le van a mandar emails. Pues en algún momento no se van a calmar. That's good. Nice, Billy. Soy la. Um, teacher is teaching English in this moment. No, okay, cool. Yes, it's a temporary situation. ¿En qué aspecto? En que este día, I'm teaching you English, right? Pero a las 10, you're going to sleep, right? Those are the action finishes. Right? Very good. Thank you, Sayla. Somebody else? Yo, pero no sé si okay. Yo, teacher. Okay, cool. Curse, uh, right, uh, Michelle, and then, and then you. Okay, I am writing report on Monday. Uh, I am writing reports on Monday. Esa está más, esa está más adecuada como para Present continuous expressing future. Mm, ok. Ah, pues seguiré pensando. En, en vez de, en, listen, listen, listen. En vez de poner un okay. Monday, en vez de poner un Monday, póngale this week. Y ahí sí. I am writing report this week. Ah, yes. Very good, Stephanie. Ok. Ok. Somebody else? Yes. Tengo una Yo, teacher. Ok. Uh, let, 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 let me see. Ah, Cindy ya, ya <laughs> antes de Michelle me estaba diciendo. All right, Cindy and then Jose, ok. I am editing video this day. Ok, very good. Thank you, Cindy. Juan, I mean, Jose. So, my car will run out 
of gasoline. My car will run of gasoline. Pronto se me va a terminar la gasolina de mi car. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you go. Okay, sí, thank you. Otra. All right, William, tell me. I am, I am studying English this moment. Oh, yeah, I mean, so that, that, that was pretty similar to one of your classmates, right? And it's still correct because at 10, we're going to finish the action, right? So in that case, that's a temporary situation. There we go. Okay. There you go. Somebody else is missing? Give me one second. So I'm going to stop in here. Okay, Gilberto. Let's read it. I am English class and in a week. Uh, repeat again, please. I am English class and in a week. Mm, man, I, I, okay, I, I want to try to, 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 to. You know, to recap what you said. I am in the English class. Ah, pero ahí necesitamos un verbo, un verbo eh, principal, Gilberto. Porque si usted dice, I am in the English class, es como, ah, estoy en la clase de inglés. Pero necesito un verbo en ING para que la oración se, se vuelva presente continuo. Para hacer las clases termina en una semana. Uh, aunque igual, ahí hablaría de futuro, pero es este lo que So you might say, classes are finishing in one week. Classes are finishing in one week, right? Okay, teacher. That might be acceptable. There you go. Give me one second, guys. I'm going to pass the attendance list because it's time. Give me a second. Carlos Mauricio, come on, not here. Cindy Melanie? Present. Okay, cool. Elvi? Hi, teacher. No, okay, very good. Stephanie Michel? Present. Okay, cool. Uh, Ivania Jamilet? Present. Excellent. Jorge Alberto? Present, teacher. Nice. Jose Antonio. Present. Very good. Jose Edgar. <laughs> All right. I don't have Jose Edgar. Okay. Next. Next. Juan Emanuel. Juan Emanuel, are you there? Okay. I think he's not there. Next, Juan Gilberto. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Let's move, Julio Alberto. Okay, he's not here. Julio Cesar. Julio Cesar, are you there? Ah, what happened to Julio? Who's here? Karen Beatriz. Well, she didn't show up. So, uh, okay, give me one second. Uh, Luis Gerardo. Present. Okay, perfect. Next, Veronica Arely. Present. Okay, nice. Wendy Yamilet. Wendy. Present. Ah, okay, very good. All right, I'm, uh, let me see. Who was it? Okay, Juan. All right, give me one second. I was texting to Juan. William Ernesto. Present teacher. All right, so Mar Elizabeth. Present. Okay, cool. Is Jonathan? 
Luis Jonathan is not here. Okay, let's move. Carlos Jose. Present teacher. Okay, nice. And the last one, Soyle Guadalupe. Present teacher. Now, okay, good. Ah, let me see. All right. Now that we have been discussing these things about how to use simple present, how to use present continuous, how to use present continuous for future actions, how to use present continuous, you know, like for uh, temporary situations, what are we going to be doing now? Let's open up the modules, guys, because we are going to be working in there. All right. Give me one second. This is this one from exercise thirty-two. Okay, so we're gonna be doing this. Hey, is there a computer in there that is doing mm, something? Okay, cool. Give me one second. I'm going to place this thing. If you remember, if you remember, this week we were working in this page, right? Estuvimos trabajando hace un par de días en específicamente en esta página. We were practicing the conversation, okay, without any problem, right? Now, we finish this. Did we finish this part from, the, from this page? It's from page 33. Yes, teacher. Completamos esta, sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Perfect. Okay. Ah, let me see. I, I do really want to try to avoid this one because it's like kind of uh, kind of weird. I know, kind of long. No, pero este es la. This is the one that we didn't uh, complete yesterday. Right? Esta es la conversación que ayer no pudimos completar. But now, I hope to do it. Look at this. It says, listen to the teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. We're going to do the same as always, right? I am going to read, and you ask at the end of the reading, okay? Questions about pronunciation or any word you don't understand. It says, this is a conversation between Rita and Luis. All right? And it says, Luis, good afternoon. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita. This is Rita, the new secretary. The new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. I just want to confirm some information. He says, Luis, hey Rita, sure, tell me. Hey Rita, sure, tell me. Okay. It says, Rita, I want to know. I want to know who are attending, who are attending the annual conference, the annual conference this year. All right, this year, let me see. Okay, it says, and where is it taking place? And where is it taking place? It says, Luis, well, well, the IT staff is attending. The IT staff is attending. And the conference is taking place. And the conference is taking place. All right. In the great room in the great room Rita he says by the way Rita by the way 
When are the materials arriving? When are the materials arriving? Do you know? Do you know? Okay. Test. Got it. Got it. Yes. Right. Yes. They are arriving. They are arriving on Friday morning. On Friday morning. All right, people. From this vocabulary over here, do you have any question? ¿Hay alguna duda con respecto a este vocabulario? Something that you don't remember, something that might be like, uh, you know, like. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, para que usábamos just. Where? ¿Dónde está esa parte? Uh, donde dice, this is Rita, the new secretary. I just. I just, ah, I just want to confirm. Eh, es, en ese caso, just es solo para decir solo. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Solo quiero confirmar. Okay. All right. That okay. is just. Sí, esa es la traducción que tiene en ese aspecto. Solo. Ok. Pero no solo de estar solo, ¿verdad? All right. Just to make the difference. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, good. Ah, somebody, somebody, somebody else had a question? Alguien más. Or oh, everything is okay. No, okay. Yo voy a suponer que entendemos todo. Ajá. Taking place. Tomar lugar. Alguno. Ah, eso. Tomar, tomar lugar, gracias. Exactly. O llevarse a cabo. You know. That's what it is. Okay, cool. If you don't have any other question. Let's practice this short conversation. Vamos a practicar esta pequeña conversación. I'm going to stop sharing. Voy a dejar de compartir. And I want to create the breakout rooms, okay? Let me see. You are 15. Let me see, 14, you are 15. Let me see, there are one that has to be with. Okay, good. There you go. Now, let's go to work in the breakdown rooms, people. I want you to practice this conversation, okay, for a, a couple of minutes, and then I'm, I'm going to bring you back to the main section, okay? Let's go to work. Let's go to work, right? Demole aceptar, por favor. Hola. ¿Será que puede compartir la pantalla, por favor? Sí, porque mm. yo no le tomé captura. Espérame, que yo tampoco le tomé captura. Ni yo no le tomé. Ah, no, no, nobody took a, a screenshot, right? Nadie tomó captura. Ah. <laughs> Ajá, ok, no se preocupen, ahorita les comparto para que le tomen captura, ok? There you have. Ahí tienen. Ok, please. Ok. All right, you can take the screenshot. ¿Ya lo hicieron? Sí. Sí, ya. Perfecto. Ok, now you had them. All right, let's go to practice, ok? Okay. Nice. A conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? 
Wendy, one question. Espérenme que no, no guardamos la captura. <laughs> ok. No problem, no problem. Ok, tómenla de nuevo. Ahí está. Gracias. All right. Va, listo. Ok, perfecto. Gracias, teacher. Ok, cool. Let's keep practicing, ok? Espérenme, espérenme, espérenme. Okay. Bueno, aquí la tengo. Ah, eh, es esta la de Rosy y Mario, ¿verdad? Rita. Compañero. Rita. Luis y Rita. Luis y Rita. Luis y Rita, ok, ya la tengo. Uh, I don't like her name. I know, man. Ok, teacher. Vaya, soy Rita. Luis, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Y yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. ¿Cuál comienzas tú? Ajá, yo no le. A ver, teacher. Yes. Hey, Verónica, aquí me one second. Verónica, do you feel okay? Bueno. Eh, sí, teacher, estoy un poco adolorida, pero creo que puedo. Ah, ok, ok. All right. Yes, porque hice los, los breakout rooms y luego, oh my God, Verónica no puede participar. It's like, too late. Sí, pero creo que sí, estoy un poco bien. Ah, ok. Ajá, no, Michelle. Bueno. Ah, cool. eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia eh, en la primera parte? I just want to confid. Esa palabra, confid. Ok, it says. I just want to confirm, 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 okay. confirm, confirm, some information. O sea que en la pronunciación es como con e. Confirm. confirm. Yes, likely similar to an e. Confirm okay. some information. Okay. okay. Y, y aprovechando en la parte de Luis donde dice well the it así es it well the it it stuff mm, it ah que son siglas uh -huh. it sí se menciona it stuff las letras mm, ok thank cool. you alright I... Ok, entonces empiezo yo de nuevo. No, no me voy a dormir. Piché bueno. mucho, mi chica. <ríe> ya me voy a ir. What happened? Dele, dele, empieza. <ríe> ¿Qué? ¿Qué está durmiendo? Dice la no, otra. Sea, ah, sí. No, desde que empezó la clase, me estaba así como que ya. Oh. Mira, este chero ah. ahí cuando me despierta, está Y mire, así, 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 ve, así. Ah. <ríe> no, me no. No, ayer sí, ayer sí, así, ayer sí soy la estaba así, mire, así. Ayer no sé ni por qué no pagué la con, cámara. Con, con choques eléctricos, mire, así. No, ah, pero, tranquilo. pero estuve pendiente de la clase. Yes, ya, yeah, mire, es true, that's true. Ay, that's true. Vaya. Vaya. Comienza de nuevo. Va, ahorita. Luis, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and what is taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, When are the materials arriving? Do you know? Great. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, hoy empiezo yo. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I use one the comfort zone information. Okay, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year 
and where it is taking place. Oh, who are attending the annual conference this year? And where is this taking place? Where the AT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the grade from Rita Beatty. Why? When are the material arriving to you now? Um, God is, yes, they are arrive, arriving on Friday morning. Luis, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita. This is Rita. This is Rita. This, this is Rita, the new secretary. The new, the new secretary. The new secretary. I have one. I use one. I, I use one to confirm, confirm, confirm some information. Some information. Some information. Hey, Rita, sure. Tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where and, is and, and where and where is the taking place well the AT staff is attending and and the conference is taking place in the great room Rita by the way when are the materials arriving do you know good eh? yes they are arriving on friday morning okay comienzo yo tú yo okay luis good afternoon mm. entonces si gusta continuamos nosotras en lo que él Ajá, sí, en lo que él se incorpora. Right. Entonces voy a iniciar yo. Luis, good afternoon. This okay. is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm. Uh, Luis. Good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Miguel Chalate. Finish, teacher. Perfect. Who's gonna go to Santana San Miguel and 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 things? Yo, a mí me toca ir. Really? <laughs> what place are you coming to sí. San Miguel? ¿Cómo dice? To what place are you coming to San Miguel? ¿A qué lugar viene San Miguel? Eh, al propio centro de San Miguel. Las empresas que están allí por metro. <laughs> No, pero metro no es en el centro, el metro es... Ah, no, es el centro, ok. No, es la principio. Yo no yes. Entonces, ah. ¿Y ustedes vienen por la litoral o por la Panamericana? Por la litoral. Pues se pasa cerca de mi casa, está como, unas, como a unos dos, dos kilómetros de la carretera litoral. De, de ah, igual. bueno. Yo mañana iba a ir allá a la frontera de la Matillo, pero ya no voy a ir. Ah, me das tú, me das tú. Igual paso por el litoral, siempre. Ah, that's nice. Sí, este, el desvío del Espino, cuando ya vienen entrando de Usulután a San Miguel, ahí, siempre por el litoral, eh, pues, debo suponer que toman la ruta del Bypass cuando van pasando Usulután para no pasar al centro. Chaval. Right. Se van a, a, a salir a un redondel que le dicen la montañita, donde está a, al lado de abajo, está una gasolinera. Right. Exacto. Sí. Right. Entonces ya luego se incorporan a la calle normal. Right. Luego pasan una pequeña ciudad que, bueno, donde ellos pasar en las puntas se llama Ereguayquín. Luego está Batres, luego el tránsito, right, que es la jurisdicción de acá, donde, de donde yo vivo. Right. Luego está como le, le digo, la, 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 el desvío del, del espino, ¿okay? 
los tres minutos del desvío de la espina, más o menos por ahí, por ahí, por ahí. On the way to San Miguel, más o menos por ahí está el desvío donde, donde yo suelo, suelo meter para, para llegar a casa. Bueno, ahí lo van a pasar visitando al rato. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, it's cool. Someday, teacher. Yeah, I mean, one day in the future. <laughs> no, I have met people like that. He conocido varios que inclusive han ido a la frontera. Yes. And there was one student. En un módulo, un módulo del año pasado tuve un estudiante que igual, él, él trabaja en fronteras. En las aduanas. No, en las aduanas. Y lo conocí de casualidad que iba para, para la unión. Alright. So you finish? Finish the show. Okay. Cool. Let's go to the main section then, okay? Vámonos entonces a la sala principal and let's practice this, okay? Okay, teacher. Nice. All right, the rest is coming. Carlos, I want I want you to start, man. You were the first one. You are the first one that appears on on, on the screen. Just give me one second. I'm gonna project the, the presentation, the PF. Yes, you got it here. Okay, with Wendy. Yes, all right, let's do it. Okay, Wendy. Yo empiezo, no sé, Wendy. Hola. Ahorita, ahorita. Okay. okay. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just, I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita. Sure. Tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year. And where is taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the gray room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Gorgeous. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay. Ah, okay, very good. So, thank you, Mister, and thank you, Wendy. Uh, you did it excellent. Now, Cindy, who were you practicing with? Con Siomara y Juan Juan Ardón. Give me one second. I'm gonna make this bigger. Okay, cool. Let's do it with Siomara then. Yes, Siomara. Okay. And then with, with one. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita. Sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by, by the way, where I the materials are reading, do you know? Got it, yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, very good, thank you, thank you. Now, let me see. Juan, are you there? Okay. Now, nah, okay, very good. Give me one second, man. Okay. Where is these people? I don't know. Okay, so Cindy, you were practicing. You were the first one. Uh, let me see. I was 
Okay. Why don't you practice with one? All right, let's do it. Miss. Luis, good afternoon. It is Rita, the new secretary. I just watched the conference on information. One. Hey, Rita. Sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Where the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, where are the materials arriving? Do you know? Good it, yes. There are the, pardon. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, they are arriving on Friday morning. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you for practicing with one. All right. Thank you, everybody. Now let's move. Let's move. Uh, Soila. Okay. Let's go to practice, Soila. If I'm not wrong, you work with William, right? With William, yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. Let's do and it. Yes, Soila. Okay. Miss, good afternoon. This is Rita. The new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and what is that what is taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place. In the gray room, Rita. By the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? For it, yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Soylan. William, now Michelle. And Veronica, right? See, sí, yes. Okay, cool. Okay, empiezo. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confer some information. Hey, Rita, sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are you, the materials arrive? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. On Friday morning. Very good. Thank you, Michelle. Veronica, you did it excellent. Gilberto, who are you practicing with? Gerardo Campos. Ah, okay, cool. Let's start. Okay. Listo, Gerardo. Mm, voy a empezar yo. Okay. Luis, right, let's go. Good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, Suri, tell me. I want to know who are attending the an annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT stay IT, is attending. IT, IT staff? IT staff is attending. And the conference is taking place in the grace room, Rita. By the way, when are the materials arriving? Materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Friday morning. Friday morning. Okay, good. Thank you, Gerardo and Gilberto. Uh, Thank you, all right. Jose. Jose. 
Jose, are you there? Yes. All right, you were practicing with Come Elvio, on. right? Yes. Now, okay, cool. Let's Luis, okay. Luis, good ah. afternoon. This is Ida, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, Sura, tell me. I want to know who is who are attending the annual conference this year and where it is taking place. Where I think staff is attending attending and the conference is taking place in the great room, Rita by the way. We are at we are at the trial. Arriving, do you know? Materials arriving. What is yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, very good. Thank you, LB and uh, Jose. Now, mm, mm, mm. let me see who can help me out with the next, next, next. Okay, Jorge, who are you practicing with? I practice with Ivania Jamile. Okay, cool. Let's go. Okay. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita, should tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IE staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving, do you know? Got it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Jorge. And, okay. Uh, all right. Ivania, let me see who else is missing. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Carlos, did you participate already? Carlos, are you there? Yes, teacher. Did you participate already? Yeah. Eh, gusta otra vez, podemos. Ah, no, I was, I was just checking porque se estoy revisando que se me, movió, se me han movido todas las cuadrículas. So I sí, lost track. I lost track. Ah, okay, all right. You were with Wendy, right? Okay, no problem, no problem. All right, uh, I guess everybody has already participated, right? Creo que sí, ya todos hemos participado. Let me see. Yes, besides, I mean, I just got 14 of you. Man, a lot of people were missing from you. But anyways, so we're going to keep going, all right? Instead of uh, being practiced in this part, all right, I want you people to go down. I want you to go down, go down, go down, and to these questions, right? How to use present continuous with WH questions. Ayer estuve dando una retroalimentación bastante profunda de esto. Si recuerdan al principio de la clase, all right, uh, we were talking about, you know, like information questions, right? Usando what, what time, where, when, who, with, and why, right? Those were the ones. All right, now. What are we going to do here? This is going to be the last activity. Check this out. It says, fill in the blanks using the words in parentheses. ¿Qué es lo único que vamos a hacer acá? Listen. Tenemos el subject, ¿ok? Y tenemos el verbo. Ustedes lo único que van a hacer es colocar de manera adecuada la forma del verbo to be que va con, ¿ok? Con el subject. Si tenemos you, ¿cuál es la forma del verbo to be que va con you? Are, are, are. There you go. Si ven, por eso la número uno dice, what company are you, si ven, are you working? Ponen work como ING, right? And then it says, like, what company are you working for? Right? Like, como, ¿para qué compañía estás trabajando? So, you see? Entonces, así de esa manera vamos a hacer las demás, okay? Like this, taking this as a role. Okay, let's do it. 
let me know when you finish, okay? Just let me know if you have any question, okay? All right, just let me know when you finish. Thank you. We missed it. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Michelle. What about the rest? The rest of? Finish. Finish? Okay, cool, William. Finish. Okay, perfect, Cindy. Finish. Ah, okay, cool. All right, let's check the information Finish. that you got in here, okay? Very good. Let's check the information now that we got in here. Cool. Soila, can you please read number two? Um, how is he dividing the group? Okay, how is he dividing the groups? There you go. All right, so this is the way how it's going to be remaining, right? Now, next one, William. When is she having the chips? When is she, is she handing? Handing? The checks. When is she handing the checks? Very good. Thank you. Is she dividing? Now, LV. Which factory is your bus visiting this month? Ah, okay. Very good. Is it? Which factory? Is your boss let me see this one? Okay, which factory is your boss? Right? I got an extra S here. Like this. Visiting. Okay. This month. Right? There you go. Now next. And for this one, it's going to be held by Xiomara. Help me out reading number five. Why is the new secretary working the next Saturday? No, okay, very good. Why is the new secretary working? Okay, very good. 
why is the new secretary working the next Saturday, right? So we basically have ended up this part, you know, like using this structure, right? Cool. Todos lo tienen así, tal y como, como están acá. Yes. yes. No, okay, cool. So basically we have ended up with this process, people, okay? Cool. Just one question, people. Eh, todos están ya like, like with 100% in the platform todos tenemos hasta la tarea 15 en la plataforma o hay alguien que yes. todavía les falte yes teacher ok cool para los que todavía les sale un 80% recuerden que pueden aumentar ese porcentaje ok al 100% there's no problem en la plataforma para eso ha sido creada la, básicamente la plataforma ha sido creada para que ustedes puedan practicar lo más que se pueda Okay, according to the topics there. All right, so please, if you stay with an 80%, let's do it all over again, okay? Let's do it again, let's practice in those- Teacher, y, y incluso podemos avanzar a hacer el examen final. Yes. Okay. You can even, you can even move forward. All right, so in that case, That's the way. Ok, cool. Bien, entonces creo que, let me see, we are going to be ending up with this because if I put another homework, nah, no salimos al tiempo con otra tarea. Y no quiero que soy la que vaya a enojar. ¿Por qué? <laughs> nah, in that case. <laughs> pues sí, porque está diciendo teacher a la hora, Ray, a la hora. Ahorita son las 10 ya. Ah, <laughs> nah, man, one minute, one minute. I'm going to pass Ay. the attendance list, actually. Voy a pasar ¿Qué pasa, Liz? Come on. Come on, Zoila. No, en that case, you know, it's necessary. Right? It's necessary. Ok, cool. Now, let's move. Dime un segundo. I'm going to move to... Ah, bueno, de hecho, permítame. Voy a revisar quiénes me han hecho y quiénes no me han hecho la tarea. Así, I'm going to check them on the spot. Ah, Mauricio tiene 60%. La, 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 la. Elvi, a wow, usted le falta la última, ¿verdad? Yes. Ah, ok, por eso me tienen 80%. That's cool. Let me see. Vania is ok. Jorge Alberto is ok. José Antonio. José Edgar is ok. All right, let me see. ¿Hay alguien que tenga menos de 100? No. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Give me one second. I'm moving to, a next, to the next page. I mean, everybody's getting ready. Todos, 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 todos. Van al día. I mean, that's excellent. Super excellent. I'm, I'm so glad to, 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 to see that, okay? Cool. I'm going to pass the attendance list. Carlos Mauricio, right now. Hey, didn't show up. Cindy Melanie? Present. Now, okay, very good. Let's move. Elvi Quintanilla. Good night, teacher. All right, good night. Stephanie Michel. Present. All right, very good. Ivania Yamilet. Present. Okay, excellent. Let's move. Jorge Alberto. Present, teacher. Excellent. Jose Antonio. Present. Okay, nice. Jose Edgar. No, no. He didn't participate. Juan Emanuel. Present. Okay, thank you. Let's move, Juan Gilberto. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Yo creo que está durmiendo, la teacher. <laughs> Mire eso, no veo esa letra. <laughs> No, es que la cosa está en que no sé qué le tocaba a la computadora, que la letra se me hizo más pequeña, la pantalla se hizo pequeña. Y estoy así como que, ¿what? Es uh, Julio Alberto. Ah, no, Julio es no here. Well, I was crazy. Julio César. Hey, Julio got problems with the internet too. Uh, Karen Beatriz, no, Karen didn't show up today. Uh, Luis Gerardo. Present. Okay, cool. 
Hey, Gerardo, have we had the 10 minutes feedback with you? No. No, right? So today no. it's going to be yours, okay? Okay. Nice, man. Nice. Give me one second. I'm going to put you here. Okay, cool. Uh, Veronica Arely. Veronica, Veronica, Veronica. I mean, she's disconnected. She's, she's having problems with it. Okay, Wendy Jamilet. Present. Ah, okay, excellent. William Ernesto. Present teacher, good night. Very nice, good night, man. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Okay, Luis Jonathan is not here. Carlos Jose. Carlos. Are you there, Carlos? Hey, where is Carlos? No, <laughs> nah, man, I think, I think he left. Okay, that's weird, man. It's people. And the last one, Soy la Guadalupe. Present teacher, good night. <laughs> okay, good. All right, people, have a wonderful night. I mean, that was weird. Una noche medio rara. Man. Nos saltaron muchos, por cierto. Todavía están en los trabajos. ¿sí? But anyways, let's see on Monday, right? Monday will be different. Que tengan sí, un buen Monday. fin de semana. All right, Happy people. Week. Espero que lo pasen de lo mejor. Y nos vemos el lunes, ¿ok? In another video conference. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Bye, teacher. Bye, Bye, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night teacher. Bye. Good night, Gilberto. Good night, Jose. Bye, Bye teacher. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. That was weird. All right. Just give me one second. Okay, Gerardo, let's remember, we're going to have this 10 minutes feedback. Vamos a tener 10 minutos de retroalimentación. Esto nos sirve para aclarar cualquier duda que se pueda tener con relación a esta clase y las clases anteriores, right? Si hay algo que, pues, todavía no haya quedado del todo claro, you know, this is, the, this is like the time to clarify all your doubts. So, I don't know if you have any questions, Gerardo. Es sobre la, la aplicación. Ajá, a me tira, me tira como las, digamos, la, la, la tarea me la tira en español. ¿Cómo así? Sí, en español, me, o sea, cuando yo le doy, estoy haciendo las tareas, Ajá. en español aparece. Ajá, ¿en serio? Sí. Man, y, o sea, le, le, me, me salgo otra vez y me vuelvo a meter y lo mismo aparece. Ah, ¿En qué tareas más o menos? No se acuerda del número. No me acuerdo, fíjense, pero. Ah, o sea, bien. vaya, yo, como ahí me aparece todo en español, lo que hago es contestarlas, pero cuando las contesto según en español, está mal. Uh -huh. Y ya, ya después me tira, o sea, en inglés todo. Pero no sé, varias veces me ha pasado así que en español me tira. La... That is weird. Sí, porque si ve acá, la... esta parte pues están en, en, en inglés. Right? Some of them are mostly of them are in Spanish. Eh, y, y se supone que es la sección 3, la right? unidad 3. Sí. Vamos a ver. Check this out. Tenemos la videoconferencia 11, la tarea. Over here. Pero es esto. Bueno, es que, que no, no fueron todas. Y de repente me aparecen así en español. Es raro. Ok, acá lo único que tiene que escoger es la cual, cual completa de la mejor manera. She's drinking coffee with her boss tomorrow. Yeah, simple present or present continuation. I like driving to work. 
All right, you got simple present, present continuous. Vaya, vaya, digamos que cuando, cuando hago, digamos, estuviera haciendo la tarea, paso a la siguiente, uh -huh. ya me parece en español. A ver. Sí, pero no sé por qué. Eso sí está súper raro porque de acá Ajá, la... Porque yo he visto que de, cuando uno las contesta, ya después que las ha contestado, sí aparecen en español. Uh -huh. Está súper raro eso, eso. Sí. ok. Eh, eh, pero, pero, digamos que ah. en este aspecto no cambian. Esta, estas, estas palabras de acá no cambian. No, eso no cambia. Lo que cambia, digamos, en los en, para contestar, para hacer la contestación. Ah, ya, 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 ya. That's weird. Probablemente reporte ese problemita. Right. A lo mejor más de alguno, algún otro ha tenido esa dificultad right. y más, más que en campo, right? y podría ser un tanto incómodo, inclusive, right? The way to be, you know, like, me, para la próxima le voy a tomar lectura para que, para ah. que vea usted. Que... Inclusive puede mandarla al grupo ahí uh -huh. para tener más evidencia, ¿ok? That's gonna be, that's gonna be the thing. <coughs> Bien, con respecto a las clases, like. Is there any question that you might have? ¿Hay alguna pregunta que, que haya surgido o algo por el estilo? No, las clases no, solo que no he asistido a alguna parte. Ah, ya, ven acá. Ahí sí. ando ahí algo, algo medio perdido. <risa> no, pero hasta el momento hemos ido, you know, like, comprendiendo todo o hay algo que... Pues, Todavía le cueste, le cueste mm. o necesita algún tipo de refuerzo. Sí, más o menos, digamos que en la tarea, por lo menos en la tarea, la que estaba viendo de yo creo que es la 12. No mm. sé. ¿Esta? Mm. No, no es eso. Pero es del simple presente, presente continuo. Ah, aquí me gusta. Creo que es la 13. Mm, ¿Lo que ves? Ajá, ahí es. Ahí me equivoqué, digamos, en toda, porque <ríe> la he contestado al revés. Ah, no, es que recuerde que en pregunta. Vaya, después de la W square, por lo general va el verbo to be. Sí. Ajá, entonces, por ejemplo, en la pregunta uno dice, what, y luego tomorrow. Ah, entonces recuerde que como lo tenemos what, y acá dice, choose the right, the, the correct choice. En este caso, entonces, ya sabemos que es esto. What are you doing tomorrow? Ok, por ejemplo, number two. Where do you gonna go there? You see? When is at the party? When is she arriving? Ay, por cierto, se equivocaron que es arriving or arriving. That way. When is she arriving at the party? Okay. And we have where. Let me see. Where are you? Okay, let me see. Yeah, man, let's put this. I want to put it. In number five, it says, What right now? What is she doing right now, right? ¿Qué está haciendo ella ahora mismo? Let me see. A ver, no salió mal esta. Ok. Vamos a ver cuál es el detalle acá. Dice, where are you having the conference? Acá está de manera correcta y luego dice, when is... All right. She arriving. No vimos bien el verbo. Estaba mal escrito. Sí. El viernes. 
Ok, y ahora sí. Tenemos 20 de 20, ¿sí? Okay. That's the way how you do it. Ok, entonces esta es la forma en cómo nosotros la podemos hacer. Ok. <coughs> ok, perfecto. Uh, nice. uh, any other question related to this thing, Gerardo? ¿Alguna otra duda con respecto a esto? No, solo una pregunta que digamos para aprender más rápido inglés ¿Qué es lo que tiene que hacer uno? Tu opción, Gerardo. Uno de ellos, aprender vocabulario. ¿Ok? Ir aprendiendo vocabulario. No cantidades de palabras al día, sino por lo menos unas dos, tres palabras al día. Irlas tratando de aprender. ¿Ok? Y luego la práctica. Listen, usted puede saber mucho, mucho, mucho. Pero si usted no practica con alguien, ¿ok? O aunque sea solo, si usted no produce lo que ha aprendido o lo que está aprendiendo, nunca va a poder hablar. ¿Por qué? Porque de hecho se les hace muy complicado a los estudiantes cuando van comenzando, you know, like in everything, eh, y no practican. Por eso es que hay muchos si ve que dicen, ay, pero es que yo entiendo perfectamente lo que me dice, pero el momento de hablar yo me trago todo, me trago toda. Whatever, pero es por lo mismo, por la falta de práctica. Entonces, ahí, aunque sea uno mismo, tenemos que ponernos a practicar el vocabulario que ya conocemos, right? o que ya hemos aprendido, porque si no, sent sentimos que nos estamos quedando estancados. Right? Entonces, sí, a veces es bien difícil salir de esa zona. Entonces, like, that's why I'm telling you. Créame que sí. usted poco vocabulario puede tener, pero sí. Practica seguido, usted va a ganar una fluidez bastante buena al momento de hablar, right? Y ya nos vamos quitando esa barrera de primero piensa en español lo que quiero decir en inglés, right? Y a poco okay. a poco ahí se va, you know, like, erradicando esa costumbre. Okay. Okay. Solamente eso sería. Ah, ok, very good. Le digo, Gerardo, entonces. It was a pleasure, man. Uh, excelente que ya vamos, vamos, vamos bien con lo de las, las tareas, al igual que todos los demás. Ok, y así que no hay nada más que agregar. Nos vemos. Ah, otra el... duda. Este, ah, ¿qué más? Uh, en, en el WhatsApp, me, me, escri me escribió una chamaca. Uh -huh. Este, me puso como una encuesta, no, pero no la ha contestado. Eh, pero no dice una encuesta al docente Ajá Esa encuesta la puede hacer Esa es para evaluarme a mí Cómo ha sido mi desempeño en el curso Sí, esa la puede hacer ahorita La puede hacer cuando se quiera ¿okay? La que sí vamos a hacer el último día Va a ser la que le van a enviar Que es la encuesta de satisfacción Del grupo okay. right? Del curso en, en general Esa sí la vamos a hacer el próximo viernes right? Acá okay. en la clase Ok mm, bueno. Perfecto, entonces así vamos a quedar. ¿Algo más que quiere añadir? No, solamente. Ah, ok, perfecto. Entonces, eso sería todo. Entonces, Gerardo, espero que tenga un excelente fin de semana. Él les sigue un monde, ¿ok? Gracias. Nos vemos el lunes, ¿ok? Bye, bye. Good night. Good night, man.